Let's map our UC apps onto the servers. Remember our rules. Number one, don't oversubscribe the cores. Each server needs to have at least as many cores as the VMs it supports have vCPUs. If Unity Connection is running on the server, we need to reserve a core for ESXi scheduling. There's no configuration required for this. We just subtract one from the number of vCPUs we can support. Number two, we can't break our UC redundancy strategy. Putting CUCM1A and CUCM1B on the same server would be a bad idea. And number three, don't put all the publishers on the same server. Mix publishers and subscribers. How many servers and chassis do we need? The number of vCPUs is the deciding number. We need 102 vCPUs, so that means we need 102 cores, plus an extra core on each server running Unity Connection. Let's say we need 110 cores to include the ESXi scheduling. That means we need 14 8-core servers. We'll deploy an extra blade for HA. And we need two chassis for this deployment. When we distribute the apps across servers, we might as well put servers in redundancy groups and high availability clusters on different chassis. We'll name the chassis A and B. Going back to our cluster design, we'll put the connection VMs on different chassis and we'll alternate the publishers on the chassis as well. Now we'll do the same thing for the CUPS servers. The CUPS cluster only has one publisher, CUPS1, but we'll use the same scheme as for connection anyway. We'll put pub on B to balance the publishers across the chassis. We'll put the TFTP and Music on Hold servers on different chassis, and the same for the CUCM call processing servers in each redundancy group. Let's distribute our apps like this. We'll place our connection servers first because they're the simplest. They need a full blade for each VM. The connection servers each need seven vCPUs plus a reserved core for ESXi scheduling. So we need eight blades for this. Next, we'll place our CUPS servers on the blades like this. Each CUPS VM needs four vCPUs. We'll distribute our CUCM cluster as well. The pub on chassis B, TFTP1 and TFTP2 on different chassis. Same thing for our music on hold servers and the same thing for our CUCM call processing servers. All of these VMs need two vCPUs. Looking at our totals, we're fine with this distribution. We've maximized our redundancy, mixed publishers and subscribers, and have not oversubscribed our cores. This is what our overall design looks like so far. Let's look at VRAM now. VRAM is easy because we're unlikely to need more than the 48 gigs specified. Going back to our diagram illustrating the mapping for vCPUs to cores, let's add VRAM. The connection servers need 8 gig of VRAM, the CUP servers 4 gig, and the CUCM servers all need 6 gig of VRAM. If we add up all of the VRAM for all of the servers, we don't even come close to the 48 gig specified in the tested reference configurations. We haven't added the 2 gig of RAM needed for the ESXi server in the totals, but that still leaves us with more RAM than we need. Finally, let's look at storage. Our rules for LUNs are simple. Number one, LUNs should be between 500 gig and 1.5 terabytes. Number two, the LUNs should be sized for four to eight apps. And finally, number three, our UC app vDisks, plus room for RAM caches, cannot consume more than 90% of the total storage. For this deployment, we have eight connection servers, each with two 300 gig drives. We're going to put these on separate LUNs, so we need eight LUNs, which means eight data stores. We'll distribute our connection vDisks across these data stores. Next, we'll distribute our CUP servers and our CUCM call processing servers. And finally, we'll distribute the remaining servers. 
If we add up the V disks on each LUN, we get 920 gig for all of the LUNs except Data Store 6, which is a little larger. While we only have three apps per LUN, we're going to go with this so as not to double up the connection hard drives, and it gives us some room for additional servers if need be. We'll put each LUN on a separate RAID 5 volume with either five 300 gig 15K disks or five 450 gig 15K disks, which gives us about 1.1 or 1.4 terabytes respectively. We'll put two 10 gig LUNs on each RAID volume for our ESXi installs. Let's put our 15 ESXi servers on the drawing. Each server has two VHBAs, fiber channel ports, one connected to SAN A and the other to SAN B. Zoning in the SAN will be configured to allow all of the servers to see all of the UC data store lines. Zoning in the SAN will be configured so that the ESXi servers can only see their own ESXi install lines. Here's the big picture. We've taken a UC deployment of telephony, voicemail, and presence for 20,000 users and deployed the VMs on two different 15 V200 M2 servers on two chassis. With this deployment, depending upon the VMware edition and whether or not we deploy the Nexus 1000V, we get all of the benefits of virtualization described on our UC on UCS Benefits and Technologies drawings. Thanks for watching.